certainly wiped the floor with these opponents. Getting ready for yet another display, the Falcons, the Royal Air Force Freefall Parachute Team. Each member is an instructor from the Parachute Training School at Abingdon. They're all physical training instructors too, and none of them ranks below sergeant. Before takeoff, a thorough check on their equipment. Apart from their packs, they've got altitude meters, smoke canisters, stopwatches, and other items needed to make one of their spectacular descents. They'll be jumping from an altitude of 12,000 feet, and now their Hercules is ready for takeoff. The RAF has had a regular free fall parachute team since 1961, but it was four years before they got their official title of the Falcon. Close contact between the pilot and the ground section establishes the most suitable dropping point. A flare marks the target area, which is only 20 yards in diameter. Green lights on, now for the drop. As they leave the aircraft, smoke canisters trace their progress, otherwise it'd be almost impossible to see them at that height. A free fall with the parachute unopened lasts about 60 seconds. The men say it's one of the most exhilarating experiences possible. Feel like a drink, old boy? They pull the ripcord at 2,000 feet. The Falcon's special fluted parachutes allow slower descent and greater directional control. They seldom miss the target area. Doesn't much matter how you leave the plane, it's what comes after that counts. Constant practice has shown them how to perform complicated maneuvers during their fall. Movements of the arms and legs give them controlled direction and they can track in together. It looks like an airborne ballet, but they're plummeting down at 130 miles an hour.